Hey guys, so this is kind of like a different style of video for me. I've never done a packing video before and this is my makeup I'm bringing away with me. Obviously, I'm not bringing away everything that I've laid out in the bed here. You can see there's so much stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through everything, including my makeup bag and what I'm bringing and why. So I thought it might be kind of interesting for you guys because I am going away to Vietnam in a few days and then I'm going to Cambodia and China. So I just thought I would show you guys what I'm bringing with me on my journey and why I'm bringing it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and do join me on my vlog channel for more travel updates and you can see exactly what I'm getting up to. So let's get stuck in. The first thing I want to talk about is my makeup bag and this is it here. It's quite large. I got this in pennies and I brought it away to London with me and it was just perfect and ideal and it has Marie on it and you guys know how obsessed I am with Marie. So that is the makeup bag I'm bringing. It's just really basic but it keeps all my makeup intact. I don't need separate pouches and stuff because I'm not going to be over packing and I just want something really convenient. So that is the makeup bag I'm bringing away. So I'm going to start with my base. So let's start off with primer. I have two primers here, the Professional and the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base. Personally, I was going to bring this one just because I'm really enjoying it at the moment, but my Professional is nearly done. So for like, we're, I'd say down to about here, probably about a month out of this, just wearing it every day. So that is the reason why I'm going to bring this, just because it's almost done and I just want to use it up while I'm away. I am going for a whole month, so this is going to be ideal. I don't use that much primer and I don't think I'm going to be wearing makeup every single day, but when I do wear it, this one is ideal. So that is the primer I'm bringing away. But another alternative for more affordable price would be the infallible one from L'Oreal. So next I'm going to move on to foundation and I have a ton of foundations here that I want to talk about. I'm obviously not going to bring them all, but these were the ones I narrowed it down to. I narrowed it down to four, but I only want to bring two. So these are the foundations I'm actually currently really enjoying. I was going to bring the pennies one, but it's very, very, very full coverage and long lasting. And I just don't want to bring something away like that to a really humid country. I just feel like my skin won't be able to breathe at all. First foundation I want to talk about is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is the one I am 100% bringing. The reason why is because it just is amazing on my skin. It's super long lasting. It's not heavy and it just makes my skin look amazing and yeah, I just really wanted to bring it. Kind of thinking I'm going to bring the Urban Decay one. It is super full coverage, but for nighttime wear, I think this would be perfect. So I am going to bring that one with me. The other two foundations I wanted to just discuss with you are the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation and the Lasting Finish Breathable Foundation from Rimmel. The reason why I'm not bringing the Tarte Shape Tape is because the packaging is a little bit heavy on it. It's a bit bulky and I'm just not really feeling the weight of it and I don't want to bring something that heavy whereas the Urban Decay one is really really light but this is an amazing full coverage foundation it lasts all day on me and it keeps me looking matte for hours so this would have been perfect to bring but just the packaging's a bit weighty. Same kind of thing with the Rimmel one the reason why I'm not bringing it is just because the packaging is a little bit heavy and also I feel like the one from Wet n Wild is a little bit comparable to this and the Wet n Wild one is almost done like I'll probably get a month out of it whereas this one's brand new but this would be a great alternative this lasts all day on my skin looks amazing flawless I love it but I'm just not bringing it for that reason because it's still full and I just want to use up my Wet n Wild one but this would be the one I would bring otherwise. Face powder is pretty easy. I am bringing my MAC Golden, Medium Golden mineralized skin finish. It looks like this. I'm just using that to set my entire face. So that was a really easy one for me. Sorry, it looks a bit shiny and it's a bit damp because I just cleaned all my products with baby wipe. Just, I wanted to kind of make them a little bit cleaner and nicer, but that's the one I'm bringing with me. To set under eyes, I am taking the Brighten Up Powder from Essence. I just love this powder and it's super affordable and I'm not going to be worried about it getting lost or anything like that because it's just so affordable, but it is great quality at the same time. And I just wanted to mention concealer while I was talking about setting my concealer. I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape. This is almost done as well, so that's another reason I'm bringing it. But one of the prime reasons I'm bringing it is because it's long lasting, it does increase, and this holds up in heat, humidity, and especially when my face is getting a little bit on the moist side. So that was like the perfect concealer for me. I am wearing makeup for long periods of time, which I possibly won't be, but just if I am, 
I can wear this one and again this is brilliant just for full coverage as well so I can just dab this on any spots or anything if I want to spot conceal and just powder and put a little bit of mascara on and I'm fine. This can be used as a foundation as well, well I find on my skin. Next I'm going to talk about bronzers. So I was hemming and hawing between these two bronzers. This one is the MAC Caitlin bronzer and I absolutely adore it. It's one of my favourite bronzers and then of the Too Faced golden chocolate or what's it called? The chocolate gold bronzer but I think I've settled on this one and the reason I'll tell you why is this bronzer is perfect if you've got a tan it's just beautiful it has a little bit of shimmery gold going through it but it's nothing overkill and that's just why I'm taking it with me because I just think it is ideal especially if I'm going to be getting a tan. Vietnam is probably around 25 degrees at the moment so it's not scorching but I just get a tan anywhere that there's sun shining. My skin takes the sun really 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 well so I know my skin will get a bit deeper and especially on my face even though I am wearing high SPF this will just be ideal. And then I'm taking my little Tartlet, Tartlet Pro Glow to Go palette which looks like this on the inside. I have spoke about this at length and you guys know my feelings on it. The reason why I'm bringing this is because it has a contour shade and two highlighters and it's just really handy. Like it is all I need to be honest and the highlighters are super pigmented like you can see that there they're just gorgeous and I absolutely adore them and they last really long so that is why I'm bringing this I have my contour shade and my two highlights and that is all I really need so that is convenient it's small and really handy I know I'm probably going a bit overkill with the highlights but I am going to bring the wet n wild highlight powder it's so thin and the reason why I'm bringing this is when I get a little bit more tanned this is much better on my skin than the other two which might look a bit ashy but this one is perfect on my tanned skin and also it just gives me a bit of variety I kind of have like a rose gold shade a gold shade and then like a pearly kind of white almost and I just couldn't leave it behind moving on to blush I'm taking my NARS Madly I always take this away with me because it's so convenient it goes with everything it's easy to build up so the more tanned you get the more you can build this up and it looks amazing on the skin so that is just why I'm bringing that look I already cleaned the packaging it's messy already damn I was gonna bring this powder to set my face but I'm gonna bring the MAC Miller Lies Skin Finish because it just holds up much better in heat. And now I'm just going to move on to eyes. I need to prime my eyes and the benefits stay don't stray is the way to go. Stops my eyeshadow creasing and it's the only thing I need to be honest. And now I was contemplating between these two palettes. Both of them are really really small, convenient and this one here is the Tarte Man Eater. So that's what it looks like on the inside. It has the most perfect shades in it for me. I absolutely adore it and also has that really deep black which is super pigmented. It has a warm shade, kind of like this pinky brown. It has like multiple highlighting shades and then also a dark brown as well and it's really, really handy. It just has everything I need in it. But then the Sigma Warm Neutrals Volume 2 was also on my list. This has like a mixture of golds and pinks and purples. It also has some greens in it. I love this palette. But the reason I'm not going to bring it is there's no black. So there's nothing to kind of deepen it up. I know I could bring a black single shadow. But that's just more packaging I don't need. So I'm thinking that the Maneater palette is going to win in this case. I am going to bring two of my Stila Magnificent Metals. Just for a bit of variety. If we are going out for dinner or one night. I want to kind of jazz up a look. These are con convenient as well because they're small and they don't require glitter glue or anything like that and you've seen these a hundred times on my channel I just really enjoy them so I've got Kitten Karma and this one is called Diamond Dust so they're the two that I want to bring I just think they're really nice now I know they don't need a glitter glue but I'm really weird and I'm going to bring a glitter glue as well just to have it with me so it's getting kind of full in there but we still have a little bit of room and it's not going to take up too much room the only eyeliner pencil I want to bring is Costa Riche it's a brown eyeliner it's the only thing I need I need to actually sharpen it before I go but it's just brown looks lovely in my waterline and it's much nicer than black in my opinion I'm bringing my liquid ink liner now I probably won't be using this much to be honest but I'm going to bring it anyway this is from Essence really affordable my favorite and then for mascara I'm bringing 
a waterproof mascara. This is the Rocketure mascara from Catrice. I love this mascara. I love the wand in it. But I just thought maybe because I'm going to be around a lot of water and stuff that this would be ideal to bring away with me. And then this one is the Tartist. I just like this one because it doesn't crease on me or it doesn't crease it doesn't flake on me and it doesn't bleed or anything like that so I really like that mascara I'm just gonna bring those two now brow products man alive I don't know why I do this to myself I'm bringing the goof proof from benefit this is just an angled like pencil and it's just ideal I've only a little bit of that left and then I'm bringing the Catrice this is the Slimatic eyeliner I'm not bringing my precisely my brow because it's brand new and I've loads of product in it whereas this one's just you know it'll do me for the month I'm bringing the benefit give me brow I'm bringing the ready set brow just to set my brows while I'm away I'm only going to bring one lip liner which is the Colourpop lip liner I always call this 915 but it's actually 951 and I always always mix that up so that's the only lip liner I'm bringing believe it or not I'm just bringing two lipsticks guys because I just don't need that many I'm bringing butterscotch lip liner or lipstick rather from Dose of Colours. I love this. And then I'm bringing Max Blankety and that's almost done so that's why we're bringing that. I might bring one more shade like maybe like a nice red or something but for now that's all I'm going to bring. You know what? I probably won't bring any more than that because I won't wear anything other than those nudes so there's no point. So that is everything I'm packing for makeup. It might seem like an awful lot but honestly this packs down quite like small and it's convenient and it has everything everything I need in it I'm not even going to bother with lashes I was going to bring them that's why I had the duo glue here but then I'm just kind of like no I don't need lashes while I'm away it's just going to be a much more casual holiday than something like when I go to Spain or when I'm going to Santorini and stuff like I really want to get glam and stuff because I'm going to a wedding but for this it's more traveling and I don't need that much makeup with me. Again, this may seem like a ton, but for me, this is seriously, seriously cutting down on the amount of makeup that I generally bring. I am crazy, I know. Okay, so I just want to talk about the makeup brushes that I'm bringing away. I probably won't use all of these, but I'm just bringing them away anyway, and they need to be just cleaned before I leave. Um, I'm obviously not going to clean them right now because I'll probably be using them before I go, but I always deep clean my brushes just before I go. I have this little container here that I got in pennies it was sent to me it's absolutely amazing because the top just sits onto the bottom so it stops your brushes from getting destroyed whilst you're traveling and I just love it I am probably going to just bring a foundation brush with me because I find like beauty blenders I just don't really like traveling with them because I feel like they get real dirty and like bacteria and stuff and I really can't clean it that well when I'm away so I'm just bringing my Sigma brush this is my F80 flat kabuki brush and like I said it needs to be cleaned but this is ideal for foundation application. As for a powder brush I always use the Inglot one. This is just the best powder brush I've ever used. If it will focus for me this would just be epic. This is the 36 BJF brush. And that's what it looks like and I use that to apply my bronzer. And for contouring I use this little Rebel Una brush which looks like this and it's just ideal for contouring cheekbones. I just really like it because it gets right into you know the cheekbone area and that's what I use that one for. And then I'm bringing a blush brush which is my Morphe M436 brush. I always use a dual stippling brush when I apply blush. Again, this needs to be cleaned. They all need to be cleaned. So this is my high cheekbone brush. Oh my God, sorry guys, this keeps going out of focus. But this is the brush that I use to apply my highlight with. This is the F03 brush. I love this to apply my highlight with. And then to set the under eye area, I use my Real Technique flat shader brush or setting brush, I think it's actually called. And then I'm bringing these eye brushes. So I have a few here. I have the first one here that I use to apply all sorts of products into my crease. This is my Morphe M502 brush. I love this one just because it has really fluffy bristles on it. I absolutely love my Inglot 46 SS brush. Again, it's just really fluffy, great at getting into the crease. I always bring my Zuiva. This is my 228 Lux Crease brush with me. This is the E38 from Sigma. I always bring my 217 brush from MAC. I bring the M507 from Morphe just for the lower lash line. And then a flat shader brush, the MAC 239. I'll leave in the links below some more affordable alternatives to them brushes. And then a duo 
eyebrow product or brush rather so this is for my brow product and a spoolie I don't I'm not bringing any brow products with me like in pomade form but the spoolie is great for just separating out my lashes so there you go guys there are all the brushes I'm bringing with me like I said this brush holder just sits right on top of the brushes you just put them all into it and then this snaps shut and there you go you have your makeup and your brushes and it's quite convenient and small and that is all I need guys I hope you like this video I'm sorry it's kind of like in a vlog style it's just that I'm actually leaving in two days <laughs> so this is the only time I can film and I'm actually in the middle of packing at the moment so I said I'd film this anyway guys thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video bye bye